I'm done. Someone got me into selling drugs on the roads, the country lines. I'm done. There's no hope for me. I've got a criminal record. How am I going to become a businessman? How am I going to have a chance? I'm done. No, you're not done. You're not done, bro. It's the start. Reframe the story, bro. It's in our control to reframe our story. Why do we buy the story that we're given? Why do we give up on this gift called life so easily and allow the pain to stop us from moving on into our great future, man? We got this. We got control. We're a special creation. And we give up and we throw it away so easy. That's why I can't give up and I can't throw it away because I realize that I'm special, that I'm made by a special power and we all are, every single one of us. Name's, uh, name's Dr. Mark Prince, OBE. Um, who am I? <laughs> I tell you, sometimes we go through things, yeah? People are going to be listening to this and they, they know they're going to go through stuff and they're going to think, why? But you don't know the future. And the bad stuff we think have come to break us and kill us and stop us. And people mess up and want to commit suicide and end their life. And they don't know the great future that they had if they could only get through the shit that they're going through. And, and, and every bit of the shit that I went through helped me. Because even though you can't really prepare for a phone call that says your son's been stabbed and you can't really prepare for seeing your boy on the cold hospital bed uh, and he's going cold, he goes from warm to cold, his lips turn from pink to blue, he goes from moving body to a stiff face and you can't prepare for that bro. When everything you've done, now that's my investment, I invested in his future, I invested in his life and to see him lay there quiet and still. I used to talk with my mates back in the day when I was on the roads, yeah? We'd say, what would you do if, something, if someone troubled your kids, if something happened to one of your kids, if someone violated your kids? Bro, man was swearing to go jail for life, kill the person, and I meant it. Bro, I, I wasn't playing. I would go inside and I'd do my bird with a smile because you can't take one of my kids. My kids were my world. <clears throat> my children were my world, bro. Um, and bro, to be one of the people that was actually in that situation. Your worst nightmare that you would speak about, like it would never happen to you. You'd see other people on the telly and it happened to them. But you was never gonna be that person. Even though you'd say, oh gosh man, I fall for them. And you knew it could happen to anyone. To be honest, you never really thought it was gonna happen to you. And no one does. No one does. When they see these things, they feel sorry for people, but you never think you're next. Never. I was next. I was going to be the next parent who was going to be on TV talking about their child that had been stabbed to death. And wow, man, what a, what a world I entered into because it was um, plagued with demons, bro. Plagued with demons, ready to take over, and just the demon of anger, bruv, and revenge. He's a strong bastard. Whoa. He will come and take over your life and drain you. The demon of unforgiveness will take over and rinse every bit of love out of you. It will take away your, your personality. <laughs> take away your joy um, and I was up against these demons bro yeah. that was, was trying to take the very essence of my life away from me and my purpose 
no career, no son. Bro. I'm supposed to be sitting there with you, man. I use the um I use all that negative energy. I used everything that I had. I cried out to the same creator that made me, that had purpose for my life. I cried out to him and I said, I give up. I, I let go basically. I let go. The things that I was chasing in life, the revenge I wanted for my son, I let it all go. I went like this, bro. I'm done. I'm done. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Show me. I'm here. I'm here in it. Because my, my, my feelings, these emotions of revenge and killing and planning to break his neck in court and all this stuff, it's not going to bear no fruit. It's not going to do nothing for my kids. It's not going to do nothing for me. It's not going to... I become like the guy. I, I, you know, I was angry with him and what he created and caused. And then I wanted to create and cause the same thing. Sense broke in. And I gave up. I said, whatever, man. I'm done. Um, you take over. And when I said it... I was in a place of deep sorrow, deep sorrow. I was at my lowest and there was no hope. So I cried out for the one person that there may be hope with. And it was the unseen God that people told me ain't real. And something happened at that moment that I can't explain. I can only share with people. And what happened is a light feeling. It was like I, I had things on my back as I was like this crying. And I became light and felt this floating light feeling like someone just took stuff off me. And, and, and the tears stopped. Didn't know what that was about, but knew something happened. Couldn't explain it. I didn't have the same passion to kill. The same passion to screw the family, his mom, his dad, whoever was in there for him. I used to just snarl at them, I'd say something to them, I'd like, break something. I'd be like that every day in court, and that was gone. Don't ask me how, don't ask me what, that was gone. When I started getting calls about appearing to do a talk out of school with parents and children, that was baffling, because why are you contacting me? I never forget, I was at the back waiting to come out and I shied myself. I was sweating. My palms, my mouth went dry. Bro, I was out there speaking and it, I felt like I was doing this because words were getting stuck in my mouth. And I remembered, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Don't try to, we, we try to tackle the fear. We try to get rid of the fear. We try to fight it. Yeah, I'm this, I'm strong, I'm not fearful. And we try to use all these words. No, bruv, no, you're scared. Accept you're scared, but know that, that there's a power that you want to achieve beyond fear. That fear, you will not allow fear to control, but you will dance with the fear. You'll roll with that fear. You'll say, okay, I'm scared, but whatever the fear and embarrassment fear brings out in me, it's not going to stop me. I'm going to do it still. So I went out there and I've done it still. And I can't remember what I even talked about. I knew that it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to fail. It's okay. Because failure ain't that until you give up. Failure is a learning lesson. We need to reframe our belief about failure. Reframe it and put a different story behind it and watch it empower you and to, and, and, to stop, and to stop freezing you up because that's what failure does. When you look at yourself as a failure, you're frozen. 
You're like you put yourself in the freezer. What can you do? You know, you can chill, put yourself in the fridge and let it chill you for a bit, but you've got to defrost and come out and get back into action. You know, you can't allow it to freeze you up. And with that belief that failure means that you're nothing, you're nobody, you can't make it, you can't do it, it, it prevents you from moving on. It prevents you from moving on. And that's why I had to reframe this whole word failure. And I realized that you're not a failure, but it was definitely understanding of the process of life. And without the understanding of the process of life, we give up. We throw in the towel. You're not done, bro. It's the start. You've got a special place on this planet. What you do, there's loads of people doing it, but not like you. Not like you and not like you. You do it your way. And that's what I want people to understand. There's no one on the planet like you. No one. They, got, they ain't got your DNA. They ain't got your fingerprints. They can't. They haven't got your tone, the way you do things. They're not like you. So you can't decide to throw in the towel and, and, and get, out, get out the game of life. You can't do that. You're robbing us of what you've been given, what's hidden inside you. There's a hidden leader in all of us. There's gifts in all of us. Why don't we tap into it? Forget what this world has taught us to fall in line. Do as you're told. No, think for yourself. Step out of line. Feel that freedom and power of stepping out of line and saying, wait a minute, hold on. What you're saying doesn't make sense. What you're saying is not right. You're taking away my constitutional right to live life on my terms. And that's what benefits everybody else. We impact on everybody else's life by taking ownership of ours, by using our gifts and our talents, by treating everybody the way we like them to treat us. The problem is, bro, we're not loving ourselves. We ain't been taught to love ourselves. You have to know who you are first. You have to recognize who I am and accept that you're loved. That means you love you. By reframing that story, that everything that you told yourself about life, how you got dealt with, how growing up was, all your relationships, all the stories you told yourself that end up being with a negative outcome, reframe it and give it a new outcome that benefits you and empowers you. It's very important to have great self-esteem. Forget the esteem that others put on you because normally they don't. We need to put esteem on ourselves. What do we do when we hear people talking positively about themselves? Oh, he's arrogant. You know, he thinks too much of himself. No, he doesn't. You know, what's wrong with talking about how much you love yourself? Because you're, you can only love people at the level that you love yourself, bro. You can't love me more than you love you. You can't. So all these people that are talking about, I love you, really? Do you love yourself? The question is, isn't do you love me? It's do you love you? Once I know you love you, bruv, I already know that I'm going to receive good love and good treatment from you because I know that you love and respect yourself. You're not going to get a knife and hurt you. You're not going to do anything to abuse your body. You're not going to hurt other people like that because you care about yourself. You care about your children and your family. It's an expression of you. So we need to focus on ourself first. You want to change the quality of your life? Change the quality of your thinking. What, what's scared? What was scared about what, bruv? I've gone through it. I held my baby's coffin like this, this small, just me one. I put it down, broke my heart. Died in, 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 in his mum's womb. Six months in the guy, I had to still give birth. I've gone through stuff. I know death. I know fear. I know pain. I know pain. But we run away from it all. We run away from it all. So how are we going to share the experience and empower other people if we keep running or we want to take our life and bloody do ourselves in? Bro, you, you've got massive stories to help others. We don't, this is a messed up world with beautiful people. 
Remember, we all got choice. Imagine if we all made the choice to live for good. Just choose to live for good. How about that? Don't deceive another man. Don't hurt another man or woman. Don't lie to another person. Don't do these things. If we all decide to live like that, what a planet, bro. Because my whole purpose here is to not allow pain to just stay as pain. We bury people, we go through pain, and then we just cry. But where are the lessons we learned to change our life? Where are the people that we've impacted because we've been through pain? I don't just want to go through pain and just say, oh, just cry. It's got to mean something. And the only way it can mean something is if I share it and give it to someone and let them know, look man, I got through this, you can too. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please go check Mark out on Instagram. All his links are below. You can support the work that he's doing. If you want to support projects like this in the future, please consider becoming a YouTube member and maybe checking out some of our merchandise. All links below as well. If you want to see the behind the scenes of this video and all our other videos, check the description for our blog channel. And if you want to see the full interview of Mark or previous interviews, then go to our interview channel, link in the description. All links below. Um, go follow me on Instagram, go follow it on Instagram, see what we get up to every day. So. We'll be popping up right now. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. We hope you have a blessed and productive day. Peace.